Well, let's now shift our focus to the latest on the street terror that has been launched by the followers of the arrested self-styled godman Gurmeet Ram Rahim Insan. Now, in a security crackdown, as many as 550 people have been taken into custody for the violence in which about 30 people were killed yesterday immediately after the verdict was announced which convicted Gurmeet Ram Rahim Singh in the case of rape which dates back to 2002. Now, large amounts of arms and ammunition have also been seized by the people who are said to be the followers of this particular sect of the Dera Sacha Sauda. And also after the violent protests on Friday, it's been a relatively a peaceful night. No fresh incidents of any violence have been reported from Panchkula. Security has been beefed up in several parts of northern India as authorities remain on a tight vigil, fearing further clashes. The curfew has been imposed in Sirsa, Panchkula and Kaithal in Haryana as the followers of Ram Rahim Singh resorted to large-scale arson and rioting immediately after the verdict was announced. Now, as many as 250 trains were cancelled to Rohtak, where Ram Rahim Singh was taken to a makeshift prison. Six columns of the army have also been deployed in Haryana's Panchkula area, the epicentre of Friday's violence, while two columns have been deployed in Sirsa, which is the headquarters of the Ram Rahim Singh-led sect, which is located in Sirsa. Haryana ke sare shaharon mein, except Sirsa mein, bilkul shanti hai, aman hai, sirf Sirsa mein, kyunki Sirsa mein unka dera hai, dere mein unke anunayi kafi sankhya mein वहाँ अंदर रहते भी हैं और कुछ लोग आए हुए थे तो उनमें थोड़ा सा भी उनमें थोड़ा गुस्सा था वहाँ पे भी उन्होंने थोड़ी आगजनी की घटनाएं की है वहाँ भी पुलिस ने कंट्रोल करने के लिए फायरिंग की है जिसमें एक आदमी की मौत हुई है और चार आदमी इंजर्ड हैं well, in neighboring Punjab, 10 districts have been put under curfew to avoid any incidents of violence. Now, Punjab Chief Minister Amrinder Singh has said that the decision to call the army was taken to prevent any loss of life and damage to public property. Now, offices and educational institutions in Punjab will remain closed today. The violence has also spread to parts of the national capital, Delhi, as buses and empty train coaches were set ablaze in some areas. The prohibitory orders have been imposed in all districts of Delhi except Central District and the North District. The administration has put in place prohibitory orders till the 8th of September. Five miscreants were earlier arrested as they tried to set buses on fire. Now, Delhi Transport Corporation has suspended interstate bus services to the affected areas and security has been tightened in Uttar Pradesh as well. A section 144 has been imposed in nine districts including Meerut, Ghaziabad, Noida and Saharanpur, Samli, Muzaffarnagar, Bulandshahar, Bagpat and Hapur and Sri Ganganagar and also Hanuman Gar districts of Rajasthan have been put on high alert after the violence erupted in the area. Now, mobile and data services have been suspended in areas to maintain law and order. Both the districts are home to many of Ram Rahim's followers. The Home Minister Rajnath Singh will chair a high-level meet in his residence today in the wake of the violence that has taken place after Ram Rahim's conviction. Now, Home Secretary Rajiv Meharishi and top Home Ministry Intelligence Bureau paramilitary officials will be attending the meet to review the situation. Now, at least 30 people were killed and about 250 injured in the widespread violence, arson and rioting and police firing which took place in many parts of Punjab and Haryana. Now, he had earlier spoken to Chief Ministers of Haryana and Punjab Manoharlal Khattar and Amrinder Singh and had assured them of assistance to deal with the crisis. The central government has already dispatched around 20,000 paramilitary personnel to Haryana, Punjab and Chandigarh to assist the local administration in maintaining law and order. The Rajnath Singh had to cut short his visit to Kyrgyzstan where he had gone to attend a Shanghai Cooperation Organization meet following the violence which took place immediately after the verdict was announced. Well, the United Kingdom and Canada have issued safety advisories to their citizens who are travelling to India. Now, the governments have asked its citizens to exercise a high degree of caution 
following the widespread violence after the conviction of self-styled Godman. The UK authorities have asked the India-bound travellers to follow advice of the local authorities and to monitor the local media situation. Now, Canada, on the other hand, has asked its citizens in the affected areas to limit their movements and to exercise a high degree of caution as tensions are expected to continue to simmer over the next few days. And also, there have been reactions which have come in. President Ramnath Govind and Prime Minister Narendra Modi have condemned the violence and have urged the followers of Ram Rahim sect to maintain peace. Now, in a series of tweets, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has called the instances of violence as distressing and shameful and has urged officials to restore normalcy by cracking down on the people who are resorting to rioting and arson. The Prime Minister Modi is also said to be closely monitoring the law and order situation in the states and has reviewed the situation with the National Security Advisor Ajit Doval and Home Secretary Rajiv Mehrishi. Meanwhile, Congress President Sonia Gandhi has expressed shock at the unabated violence in Panchkula and other parts of Haryana. Remember, at least 30 people were killed in just a span of two hours after the verdict was announced as as many as 250 people were injured in the violence following the conviction of Baba Ram Rahim.